storytelling is a barber for you to sell markets. Storytelling in sales is key. What do I mean by this? If you're experiencing any sort of closed doors, right? Everywhere you turn, doors are closed against you. You're not making any sales. Just start telling stories, guys. Just start telling stories and you're likely going to sell. You know, this evening, I just watched the Vicky James post and she used storytelling to talk about the making of Bonang's dress, who is the presenter for the Miss South Africa 2024. And her storytelling skill kept me hooked from the beginning to the end of that post, right? As a dressmaker myself, I know how that story affected my emotions. I know the mood listening to that story got me into and I was like, mm, mm, mm. indeed, storytelling is powerful in making sales. And it made me cast my mind back to when I decided to share my brand story. You know, it wasn't properly constructed or well thought of or anything. That day I just woke up and I thought, let me just make a post telling these people about me and my brand because I was about to run, I think my second or third ad and i i didn't want trust to be a problem so i just thought let these people know me and know what i'm about and know what my brand is about you know so for me my brand story is actually intertwined with my personal journey and my experience as a person you know and that um, journey is one of self-discovery and empowerment you know so i put together a video without even properly you know constructing my my script you know, without even thinking about my audiovisuals, right? I didn't try to do so much to deliver that story. And guys, I know what making that post did for me in my sales. That post made people see through me. It made people understand me as a person, founder of the brand, and understand my brand and what we stood for. That post, you know, for let's go back to Vicky James. You know, Vicky James has been telling stories for a long time. I think her own brand story is also kind of intertwined with her personal journey because we have turned to know so much about her in the process of sharing and making her brand known, right? We know she came from Ajegule to where she is right now. We know she started with sewing in her mom's parlor to where she is right now. We know she was sewing for 2K, 3K, 4K, 8K to sewing in millions right now. I think the least she does address is 2.5 million. We tend to know so much about her that people even feel they have a right to make certain comments or opinions about her, her personal life. You know, that's how powerful storytelling is. And even though it sounds like we're hearing so much of the negative impact is making on her as a person, but trust me, is nothing near the positive impacts, you know, because, you know, um, the positives are always kind of quiet, you know, as a business person, what do you care about is your numbers, right? Is is the is the profits, the money entering the bank? And trust me, her storytelling has definitely gotten hundreds of millions into her bank account. Because if it wasn't, she for don't stop now. You think it's easy to put yourself out there on on the spotlight like that, you know? So so what I'm trying to say here is that number one benefit of telling stories to sell your clothes is that it makes your clients or your customers remember you. Imagine if you walk into a place and the first thing you start saying is, um, hello, I have a beautiful red dress here. Yeah, this dress will fit you. This dress will look good on you. This dress will... You're going to sound like every other fashion designer or ready to wear brand out there. You're going to sound almost the same as anybody out there who is selling. But if you come with a personal story, if you come with um, a story to sell your facts, right? Your story gives your, your brand a personality and something unique. Okay, so I'm going to play an example here, which is my own brand story. The post I told you I made earlier on, you know, a few seconds of the introduction of that story. It was a very short one. Like I said, it wasn't properly thought out or planned, you know, but I know how those kind of posts can perform. They tend to be more real. <laughs> they tend to actually give you results sometimes than the very planned out one. So listen to the intro of my own story. So you get to see how I was able to bring personality to my brand, make the brand look like it's it's run by human beings. It's not mechanical. It's not about sales, 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 sales. We are people too. And we have our weaknesses. We have our strengths and we know how to leverage on it. Welcome to Pendra, a brand deeply intertwined with my personal journey, a journey of self-discovery and empowerment. As the founder, you know, I once grappled with shyness and I battled low, low self-esteem, you know, often feeling like I didn't measure up with others. But through inner reflection and growth, 
I found the courage to shed those insecurities and embrace my true self. So, Pendra is a manifestation of that transformation, a reflection of my commitment to empowering women to feel um, confident and beautiful in their own skin. Each piece in our collection is infused with the belief that clothing has the power to uplift and inspire. Every garment is designed to celebrate the unique beauty of every woman who wears it. You know, from our elegant dresses, like what I have on, <laughs> to chic separates. So to all those who, like me, have struggled with self-doubt, know that Pendra is more than just a clothing brand. You know, in fact, it, it is a symbol of resilience, self-love, and the journey to embracing once through what. Without saying, you can see that the next benefit of storytelling is that it builds trust with your prospects. People who've never known you, who comes across a video like that introducing your brand, will tend to trust you more. You know, these days where there are lots of scammers on Instagram, that is if you want to start selling your ready-to-wear on Instagram, you know, it's easy when they can see your face, you know, hear your voice, and even hear your story. It's easier for them to start building trust. And if they kind of resonate with your story, like if you are one who struggles with self-doubt or struggles with insecurity or shyness, you resonate a lot more with my brand than a woman who is very bold and confident and has been like that all her life, you know? So they start to build trust. They start to, you know, feel like they have something in common with the brand. And that way it's easier for them to remove money from their pocket and start buying dresses they like from your collection. One of my mentors have made me understand that storytelling can trigger the hormone called oxytocin, which is also known as a love hormone. But you have to note that it is only a good story that will trigger that hormone, right? Your brain is likely um, not going to release oxytocin for a story that is not very clear. You know, when you start the story, they don't know where you they go, which side they belay the face. They don't know. The, the story is not defined. Nobody knows what the, the beginning, the middle, or the end of the story is, you know. That's, <laughs> you're just wasting your time. In fact, you have ended up losing a client, you know, if your story is not well a good story is supposed to be able to transport your potential customers from where they currently are into another world while changing their mindset and their brain chemistry. After I made this post, I noticed something that had never really happened in my brand before. I started got getting orders from men. A lot of men were placing orders for their wives. So I don't know what emotion this story sparked in them, but it was a good thing because it led to sales. Also, I noticed that people who had known me in the past, you know, who had known me personally and had never bought from me, so they're placing orders, lots of orders. And I was like, okay, what, 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 what chord did I strike there? Or could I also have been struggling with self doubt or insecurity? Or they are just happy to know this about me because they've never really known me that deep you know, but it led to sales. We made more sales than usual. And I knew that that was because of the power of storytelling. Storytelling also shows what you truly stand for. From that, my storytelling, you can tell what my brand stands for. That my brand is, is not just a clothing brand, but a symbol of um, self-love, self-discovery, and um, the power to embrace your through what you know, to feel comfortable in your own skin or in your body as a person. For Vicky James, the consistency in her own story has been one of rags to riches and also one that shows the impact working closely with God or the Holy Spirit can have in your life and in your business. One thing I also noticed storytelling did for me was to increase the value of my products. Yes, those people that used to price funny, funny. They avoided me. And people who are there coming to buy my clothes don't even talk about price, you know. Stories are proven to transform objects that are insignificant into significant ones. So you can sell an ordinary handkerchief for millions of naira if you have a good story behind why the handkerchief is what what it is. Another way I can put this is that a good story can make an average product, an average design, an average cloth seem valuable. I have a one-day class coming up on the 7th of September. This class is for those who want to start their ready-to-wear business or currently in ready-to-wear business. And in that class, I'm going to be teaching you one thing. And that thing I'm going to be teaching you is how I'm able to come up with designs that sell. 
In that class, I'm not teaching you how to sew. I'm not teaching you how to cut and sew anything. I'm teaching you how I am able to come up with designs that make me sell out most of my designs. My success rate has been tremendously high since I started implementing the things I'm going to be teaching you in that class. Okay? So you're going to learn how to transform your designs into bestsellers. These secrets I'm going to be teaching you in that class is the same secrets most outstanding ready to wear brands in the world and in Nigeria are implementing to sell out their clothes. Yes, I have simplified the class. I don't want to do classes that are theoretical. I don't want to do classes that people are not implementing. I have so simplified this class that anybody who wants to know how to come up with designs that will sell, because it has been one headache of most people in this business. They don't know what to produce. They don't know what to sell. They produce clothes and it's lying there on the rack. You know, it's lying in the shop. Nobody's interested in it. Nobody wants to buy. But they come on Instagram and see people like me and others saying we have sold out. Yes, so sold out is a flex whether you like it or not because to come up with an idea a concept a design that people would key into and buy no be my mind there are processes to get to this and i'm going to teach you in that class so once again the class is called the sold out rack and it starts on the 7th of september i should i think there's a flyer on the screen right now yeah so the fee for that class is a miserable 5800 check it in money change chicken change 5800 is shawarma money for the first 10 people then for those who want to drag their feet and come later they'll pay 11600 which is still change which is still small money 11600 cannot buy you perfume can it yet you're going to be getting knowledge insights into the secrets i have been using thus far to sell out my clothes don't sleep on these guys if you watch this video up to this point thank you so much don't forget to leave a comment and leave a like Ask questions where you want to ask questions. I will graciously answer you. God bless you and have a fabulous day.